What's up people YouTube, it is me, Justin Omoe, here with another video. I was gonna make another video with my camera, but I just don't know where I put some like pieces for my lighting and it's mad hot and I tried recording and it just made me annoyed and a whole bunch of things, but you know, I'd rather just do it on here. That way you don't have to see my ugly face and I could get everything done without noise. Like right now, my brothers are talking and you can't hear it in the microphone because I have a, no a noise gate on it. So, yeah. Like he's talking right now. <laughs> but anyways, um, today I want to talk to you guys about tempo, 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 tempo. This thing right here where my hand is tempo. Uh, it correlates with the metronome because the metronome relies on the tempo. It's here, here and there the same. But yes. Um, tempo. Why is this something I'm talking about right now? The thing about it is that a lot of people, uh, this might be too loud. A lot of people really, um, don't utilize this tool, this option, this thing that is necessary and all their vocals will just be off track. It's unorganized. It's not in the right spots. And yeah. So let me go ahead and show you a, you know, an example of that. I'm going to take this file, drag it in. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, take note of the sound right here. The tick 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 tick. Sorry if it's loud. I'm not sure. Okay, as you could tell, it's not on beat. Like look here. These are peaks. You know these are kicks. It's not, it's not matching with the beep. Matter of fact, beep. It's just not working out like that. So what you have to do is actually set it to, you know, be on beat. And the way to do that is to use the tempo. There's options. There's ways like this one tapping. So if you play the song, if you play the song, That way you could get the, the beep with your own finger, like doom, 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 doom. You click it, you click it, click it, click it. Then you could take it and align this with the beat. I'm going to just do it like that. Um, I'm holding shift while scrolling, by the way, if you guys want to know that, because my snap is on bar. But yeah, anyways. And notice the beep will be on, on each of the, you know, pieces. So yeah, as you can see, it is on the the right, you know, position, the piece. The da -na -na, da -na -na -na, da -na -na. The da -na -na. So yeah. Basically, what this does is sets everything up so you can actually Organize yourself better. So let's say you want to, you know, add a marker right here. Intro. So now you have that. And then, you know, at measure 19, the beat drops. So let's name this like the verse. Um, then here, as you can see with the time on measure 34, 35, 35, it goes back to da na na. All right. And let's just say course so yeah oops that is better than having this and then you know like oh the verse starts here but the verse doesn't start there because you see the kicks over there and then you're like, oh i gotta do it like this and now it's not even you know on the beat on the marker on the you know on the snap and the tempo It's just not good. It's not professional. It's not set. It's not right. So yes, that's one way to organize it with the tempo tapper. So there, 
This is 349 now. Another way is to actually click this little mark right here, the top left corner of the file. Click Detect Tempo. And here it'll show you a list, but look right here. It says Embedded. Now the good thing about Embedded, uh, let me let me just, yeah, click, click. Let me just check some. Okay, I'm recording. I just, I just wanted to make sure. But yes, um, go back to here. Embedded. What embedded means is that this BPM is actually written on the file. It is written on the MP3 file. So let me go ahead and show you that. Lost Woods, right click, properties, details, scroll down, lame. And <laughs> that's, that's good. But yes, beats per minute, it says 140. Now look at that in contrast to this one, distance, Asian beat, um, right click properties, details, beats per minute, nothing. So I'll show you that right now. But yes, um, let me, let me just uh, detect tempo once again, embedded when it's embedded, just click it. Cause that's what they intended. Um, unless it says like 120, 130 and just people render it out like that. <laughs> but for beats, if it's embedded, I believe it'll be right, depending on who uses it. But yeah. Um, yeah. And if it does not sound right, then there's another option that I'm going to show you right now. Just to show you know that fits. Uh, let me go ahead and send you send this one. Distance Asian beat. It's another beat I made, but I purposely took out the BPM. So yeah. It's not on beat, as you could tell. And when we go to detect tempo, it says estimated. Now, the thing about estimated is that it's guessing. It's just guessing it's around that thing because it's just taking the range. Or, let's see, I advise a second range. It's just, yeah, it's just taking this file and giving it a rough estimate. It's just computing quick. But if you believe it should be, you know, something else, then test it out. Um, let's listen to this. I'm actually going to tempo tap it. Turn off this. All right. So I'm getting around 112. I'm not sure if that's right. So let's go. It sounds right, but let me see if I go here, notice how there's a gap. It's just not organized. It's, you know, not the right tempo. Cause this should have start, should, oops. This should have start like here. So that means I'm close, but it's not 112. Meaning the tempo tap, it's all right, but you just never get it right sometimes. So yes, 112, I'm estimating around there. So 75 to 150, let's see what it really is. So it says 110 BPM. That's what the, you know, computer detected and did all this math, mathematics, mathematics. That is on beat. That's on tempo. So let's go here. Notice how it. Notice how it starts right on that wave, on that sound. And we can even go further and see. Yep, just like how I said with 112, it does land right on it. So that is how it is. That's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's fit right. It's tempo is right. Um, that being said, the same thing could go intro and this is where like, that's where the verse starts. So verse starts at measure nine and then the chorus. It starts on 33. <laughs> And 
this is where the verse uh, two starts. So yeah, oh, so yeah, everything is organized now that tempo is on. This is very helpful for you guys. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. <laughs> if this video helped you out, then thanks. All right. Yeah, no, no, not thanks. <laughs> I hope this video helps you out. If it did, then give me that like. Show me that, you know, it worked. If you don't use FL Studio, there is other ways to, you know, the other DAWs to find out. I just use FL Studio. And I encourage you guys to use FL Studio too if you are, you know, if you don't have a DAW or if you are planning to use it. That way you can follow up on what I do because, you know, I have what I'm doing here on FL Studio and you won't have to, you know, Google how to do it on yours. That way, you'll, you know, everything will be faster, easier. You get it directly with the program you're using. Also, FL Studio is better than everything else in the world. I don't care what you say. <laughs> um, no, I'm just, I'm just playing that bar. But yeah, just get it if you don't have it. You should have it if you're watching this video. But yes, that's all I got for this video tempo. I'm probably going to go through the whole FL Studio tutorial process on everything. But I'm going to wait till the time's right. So yes, like I was saying, if you watch this, or thanks for watching the video. If you like this, give me that like. Actually, leave me a comment. Do you like the metronome on while you're recording your music? Um, For me personally, I do like the metronome. Sometimes it just gets recorded into the um the microphone just depending on if I have the mix loud enough the temp the metronome the beep 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 um so yeah um I do like it I lower it down if it is too loud as long as I have that constant the constant like beep 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 I have it in my mind I got it I'm in sync and yeah, <laughs> that's my opinion. So yeah, like I was saying, like, fave, share. Thanks for watching. If you are new, please subscribe. I do videos like this every Saturday. I'm going to expand it soon. As soon as school starts for my brother and my mom, uh, she works at the school. So yes, um, videos come in, you know, frequently. Check that out. <laughs> that's all I got for saying. Thanks for watching. As always, peace.